everyone, it's Stephanie from Mrs. D's Corner. I wanted to pop in really quick today to answer some more questions that you guys have been having about my adapted work binders. Y'all have been seeing the videos and sending me questions, so I wanted to create a video where you could get all of your questions answered in one place. Um, I did a previous question and answer video, um, I think in December, um, but it's been a while, so I wanted to update information with you guys. I have a list here ready to go. If you have questions as I'm answering these questions, just leave them in the comments and I will get to them as soon as I can. So let's get started. Um, number one, do you sell these binders? Yes, I do sell the adapted work binders. I currently have the morning adapted work binder, a math adapted work binder, a science and social studies adapted work binder, a music adapted work binder, and I am currently working on the English um, work binder for kinder, and then I'm going to be working on first, second, and third grade, and then I have some other great things um, in the works. So yes, I do sell the binders. Second question, do you sell pre-made binders? No. I do not sell pre-made binders. Um, the reason I do not sell pre-made binders is because I cannot give you the level of differentiation you need for your child if I'm going to sell you one standard binder. Um, it is so much better for you and your students and your children if you print exactly what they need. Okay, So that is why I do not sell pre-assembled binders. Number three, what programs, computer programs, do I need? So if I'm not selling you um, an actual binder, what do you get? When you buy one of my binders, all of my resources and binders are digital downloads. So that means that you're going to download it onto your computer. You hear my dogs? Just a little pitter patter across the floor. <laughs> Just ignore them. Um, so you're going to get a digital download of the binder. That means you need to print it and you need to assemble the binder. So what do you need? You're going to need a PDF reader. So Adobe, I always recommend Adobe. If you're on Mac, you can use Preview. Um, I am working on a Mac, but I also use Adobe. It seems to print better for me, and I get a better response when I'm working with my adapted binders when I do use Adobe, and there is a free version as well. Um, you're also going to need PowerPoint if you would like to edit any of the covers. The binders are not editable, which is my next question. Are the binders editable? No, they're not, um, but the covers are and the spines are, so you will need um, Microsoft PowerPoint to be able to add student names or text or anything to the covers of your binders. Um, and you also need a printer if you want to print, um, or you can have it sent out to print. You have permission to do that. Um, I answered, is the binder editable? Does the binder come in other languages? Um, as of right now, my binder is only available in English. However, there are, um, like I have UK spellings or the English spellings. Um, so it does come like in colors and colors. I guess, however you say the difference. But it doesn't come in French or Spanish or other languages. It just comes in English. But there are adaptations available already within the binders um, that are beneficial for everybody. Number six, I'm having trouble printing. Help! Um, this is a question that I get quite frequently. Um, and unfortunately, because um, printer problems don't necessarily have anything to do with the download itself, and it's more of like your computer talking to your printer kind of thing, um, I can certainly try and help you. Um, what I'm going to recommend that you do is that you, you know, restart your computer and make sure all your programs are up to date and simple things like that. And then if it's not still not working, I'm going to direct you to the TPT help desk. So if you're having trouble printing, feel free to message me and I will do my best to help you. Um, but just know that I may end up referring you to TPT because they are the best people ever to help you out with your technical issues. I can't get the binder to download. Help! Okay, so same thing. Um, the first thing that I always say when somebody says they're having trouble with the download is make sure you're on a computer or a laptop. Now, I know that seems really silly, um, but some people just have a phone or a, or a tablet, right? And the only thing with the binders is that it comes in a zip file, which means you're going to have to unzip it to get the PDFs out of it. And I do that because there's so much good stuff inside of it, I can't just give it all to you in one big file. It would be enormous, okay? So you're going to need to do and unzip it on a computer. Um, and if you're having trouble downloading, sometimes it's a matter of using Firefox over Internet Explorer or Chrome. Um, simple things like that. But send me a message. I'm happy to trial and error help with you. But I also, again, may refer you to the TPT Help Desk because they're amazing at what they do. Um, number eight, what supplies do I need? So the binder is a digital download. That means you need to print and assemble the binder. What do you need in addition to printing out the pages? You're going to need laminate, 
So you're going to need um, scotch thermal. I use a scotch thermal laminator, and I should have gotten it out to show you. There are other videos on my Facebook page if you look back that I show you exactly what I'm using. Um, and I'll put some links in the comments after the video to let you know. Um, so you're going to need a thermal laminator. I use a scotch one. I think it's like 20 bucks on Amazon. I get some thermal laminating pouches. I think I get about 200 for 20 bucks on Amazon, like super cheap. Um, you're also going to need some Velcro. You can use Velcro dots, and then I also use Velcro strip Velcro. But I've also seen people with the strips at the bottom, they just put dots for each of the answers. So if you don't want to go through the hassle of having to order two kinds of Velcro, you can just stick with the Velcro dots. And you can use any color you want. I know some people think I use clear. Um, I don't even, is there clear Velcro? Maybe. But I use white Velcro, so it looks the same. You can use whatever color Velcro that you want. So that's all you need. Number nine, how much Velcro do I need? This is a question that I answered in my previous video, that I, and I still get a lot of questions about it, and it's a very valid question. Unfortunately, I can't really give you a good answer. Um, how much Velcro do you need? Let me show you why. I'm going to grab one of my binders really quick. So this is, I just grabbed the first one I saw, addition and subtraction, okay? The reason why I can't really give you an, a good estimate as to how much Velcro you're going to need is because it really depends on what you're printing. Now I know um, a lot of you are like, oh my gosh, I have to print 300 pages, or the math binder's like 700 pages and you're kind of freaking out, like I get it, like you're like, oh my goodness, okay? My suggestion for everyone, and even for myself when I prep these binders for my kids, is you're gonna pick 20 to 25 activities to start with. Okay, so that means 20 to 25 work pages, and you're going to prep those pages first. Your kids are going to work on those. As they are mastering those pages and working on those pages, you're going to start prepping new pages that are the next skill level for them. That could mean new work pages. It could mean new answer pieces, but that's what you're going to do. So that's going to help you with prep time. But so Velcro, there are some pages that don't need any Velcro at all. Okay, so you're not going to need Velcro for every page, and I'll go over this in a little bit. Um, but also, see how this page only has 10 pieces of Velcro, right? And then there's a strip. Let me show you this other page that has a whole bunch of Velcro on it. This page has all these little Velcro dots and then the strips here. So if I tell you to order, I don't know, like 100 Velcro dots and you need 300, I just kind of gave you the wrong answer. So you kind of have to gauge yourself. I say always start with like 500 it seems like a lot um i order my velcro from amazon i also order it from thiener supply again i'll put links in the comments um but i always order my velcro in bulk that way i always have some i legit have a huge box in my office right now velcro um so it's always something good to have around the next question number 10 do you have a walkthrough video to help me put the binder together let me grab this other binder all right i'm gonna grab money okay we got money so I don't have a walkthrough video to kind of help you put it together, but if you email me with like specific PDFs that you got um, or that you have with page numbers, I can help you put it together. The best way for me to explain it to you is, um, if you see a page that says I can at the top, that's a work page, okay? So, but if it says I can identify, that's a page where you're gonna ask your child, find the penny and they're gonna point. Find the dime and they're gonna point. You don't need any Velcro on this page, okay? So I know that that was giving some people a little bit of a, a stink before. So identify, you're gonna leave it alone. You're just gonna Velcro, hole punch, and stick it in the binder. Now these pages, they're the trace pages, okay? So you don't need any Velcro. I can identify a coin's value. If it says I can match, or let's see if there's another one. I can determine. Okay, so these are pages you're gonna need to have some Velcro on. These are the work pages you're gonna have to put Velcro on. Um, so that kind of helps you out a little bit with knowing what to put together, but if you're really struggling with it, please send me an email and I'd be happy to help you out. Number 11, what all is included in the binder? Now this is a hard question for me to answer like right now in front of you because I have so many binders available and there's so much content in each binder. So what I'm gonna ask for you to do is if you are really interested in a binder and you you know, your son is, I'm just going to throw something out there. He's four years old and he knows his shapes and he knows his colors, um, but you want him to work on his address. Um, my suggestion for you, yes, you can send me an email and I will be happy to help. I will send you links. I will walk you through it. But you can also check out my product listings in my TPT store and it tells you exactly what is included. 
Um, so that's the first place I want you to check. The next question is kind of not a question. Um, I'm from the blank or I'm from the UK or I'm from Australia. Can I get pages adapted for me? The great news is that they're already there for you. Um, the morning adapted binder has like four different or five different types of currency. I think there's British currency and Canadian and UK and Australian. And I think I just added New Zealand currency actually. So there's a couple different variations already available for you in the binder. Um, and there are already spellings adapted for you. So yes, they are already there. Um, but if you have questions, send me an email and I will just reply to you. Yes, they're already there. Here's the link. Uh, next question. And I do get this a lot, um, and I'm going to explain to you why I kind of, let me tell you the question first. <laughs> the binder says it's for special needs. Can I still buy it? Yes, you can. Um, the reason why I put, so if you look at the title of one of my binders, it says morning adapted binder parentheses for special needs. So why do I do that? Why did I put that in parentheses? And why, why do I need it? My kid, you know, maybe your kid doesn't have special needs or maybe your child does. The reason that I did is because this binder is so good for any child with or without a disability, no matter what age level, um, the binders are great for anybody. And I wanted people to know that by the title um, of the product. And I didn't want families and teachers to steer away from it because they didn't think it would fit the needs of their child. Um, so that's why I did it. But yes, even if your child does not have special needs or if your child does, yes, the binder will be perfect for them. And if you have more questions, please send me a message and I can help you out with it. Um, question 14, I'm not a teacher. Can I still order the binder? Yes, you can. And I'm so excited. I have, you have no idea how excited I am when I get those questions from you guys. I'm a homeschooler or I'm a grandma and I want to buy this binder for my kid or for my grandchild or I had counselors like ABA counselors from outside therapies message me and say I want to buy this for my client but I'm not a teacher can I still buy it yes yes you can you can still buy the binder um, it's wonderful. The binder, it, you can use it anywhere. You don't have to be a teacher to use it. You can be a homeschooling mom. You can use it in the car. That was one of my favorite um, responses I got. I really want to use this as like an activity with my child in the car. Um, but yes, you don't have to be a teacher to purchase. My store is hosted through Teachers Pay Teachers. Um, but you absolutely do not have to be a teacher to purchase the binder or anything from Teachers Pay Teachers. Uh, the last question I have is one that I've been getting frequently. Um, because when I did my last question and answer, my morning binder was only $6. The current price of my uh, morning adapted work binder is now $8. And the reason for that is since um, my first video and since so many of you have fell in love with this binder and I've adapted it to meet the needs of so many more children all over the world, I've added so many more content pages, like almost over a hundred pages to the binder, which is going to increase the price because there's more for you to love and more for your kids to learn. Um, so the prices are not set, but I do strongly believe that um, I price them at a good price point to be affordable for everyone. Um, but if um, but if that's something that you want to talk to me about, feel free to send me a message and we can have a conversation. Um, so I saw a couple questions float by. Somebody asked about my music binder. Music binder is finished. I finished it last week. It is available in my store. Hopefully, I'm going to turn this off. Sorry. Um, so you can find it in my store. I will put links in the comments. Um, I don't remember seeing any other questions, but... If you have any questions, please send me a message. Leave them in the comments here. I will go through an answer. I will go through this video afterwards and I will add links to Velcro and laminators and anything that you might need. Um, but I'm always here for you guys. And if you guys are needing something or if you want an adapted binder for a certain topic, um, send me a message and um, we can collaborate and get it done. So I will see you guys later. Have a great rest of your day.